Uni time. But I've only got to spend most of the day there doing um, a prac and also working on um, barbell crew. So going to be sending out, not sending out, but organizing everyone's shipping. I'm a one man operation, so that's why it may take a week when it's a mass order, like um, our pre-orders. Uh, I'll, I'll end up boxing, um, I'll end up packaging and sending everything out myself. So it takes a while to do so. In the future, I might need to get some help, actually. That would be a more viable option, in my opinion. That's it. So yeah, got my keys, got my phone. And why is my boot open? It's probably a question some people are asking me. If you go to the gym and you leave your knee sleeves and your clothes in the boot, you can just tell me what your boot smells like. You can describe it to me. Just describe below. What does your car boot smell like after leaving your gym stuff there for a long time? You tell me. I think everyone has the same answer. It's not very pleasant. And I will have to be very cautious with what I put in there next time after I clean it. So yeah, this should be a fun drive. Oh, I forgot one thing. I keep forgetting everything. And does anyone else have that as well? Did you guys just, you're just leaving your house and you just fucking forget everything. Oh. These aren't my sunnies. These are my mates, he left at my house, but you know, I don't think he minds me borrowing them. It's pretty, pretty darn sunny out there. He knows who he is. Okay, let's fucking do it. Barbell crew vlog. I'll try to get some stuff that I eat during the day as well. In there. Let's see, Do I have everything. Probably not, but we'll work it out. You can run the program Why if you, you want to see the interface. And a full you comp can at the same time. gather the round two days in a row. Three computers yes, that's, uh, and who? Wilkes. Have a look. His books you coach. No, he told me I'm, I was invited for both, <laughs> and I have to do both. <laughs> Rest in peace. Oh, this one's too so complicated. Oh, oh, no, this is not too complicated. Same. Wait, <laughs> Only good morning. True that. Yeah. Do you bench press? This is just too deep. Huh? Do you bench press this spot? Do we? Huh? Do we bench press this Technically we do. Yeah. Technically we do. It's a universal work. This is correct. It's actually like dedicated benches. Yeah, you can detach the bench and squat. Right. Tell, tell what we should do. We should design a new fucking rack. We're the engineers, right? Yeah. Shit. 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 Yeah, make it for like hundred bucks and then sell it for like five thousand bucks. Yeah. yeah, they do, huh? And it does everything. Yeah, exactly. But it has to be high quality though. Do you do pull ups? Yeah. No, you don't. It should be like a flapping thing. Flapping Fold, thing. twist. Pull ups. Oh, Lock mechanism. The, I saw that NASA has a pretty awesome tool that they, they give to the astronauts. Uh, Which ones? It does. Fucking uh, oh, no. It's a close up. I don't have the pump bro. You don't want to be in a video of someone flexing just in the back. Not really. <laughs> I thought you were taking photos. No, no, it's, it's all videoed. That's even worse. <laughs> no, not like it's going anywhere. I'm just, um... I'm, it's only going to be a B-roll. You will just... Back off this video. 
<laughs> keep flexing then. <laughs> yeah, keep flexing then. Are you done? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, sweet. It's 2.23. So it means, you see, the voltage has come from 19 uh, volt. What's the output would be the pumping. You see, it shuts down. Alright, so now, and what, what's the objective? If you look into this experimental rig, TV, MPPT, maximum power point tracking, electric water pump. So what's going to happen today, you're going to, you to take two measurements. One, assuming it's cloudy. No, no, sorry, it's not cloudy. It's very clear sky, very shiny. You need to adjust the panels to face the sun. Right, let's say yeah, I'm facing the sun. Why? Because I get the maximum performance. Alright, so that is just the end of the day and now I'm gonna head back home, probably grab a bite first and then work on some uni final year project stuff. All right, so just finished up uni and headed over to Hungry Jack's. Got a, a drink and two chicken royales. I'm gonna have this and get home. Possibly try to get them tonight, we'll see what happens. All right, so instead of going home, I just decided to stop off at High Point and Get some coffee with Phil. Should be a quick one, so. It feels comfortable. It's for a squat. How much was it? Full depth. Huh? How much? How much was it? What? How much weight? One twenty. It's not bad, still. I literally just I'm gonna bring this camera everywhere because it's so portable. Like when I wear it around my neck, it looks like it looks normal as you know, man. It's an accessory now. <laughs> Like for the video quality is like raw and you can edit it in Premiere and it just looks super good. So if you look at this screen now, it's a very flat image and I'll just show you what it looks like when I edit it um, on Facebook. Oh, I know, that's this. Maybe. Did, didn't you see the punch on in the new Barbuck review? No. It was that Mimba. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When we were, yeah, when we were in. Um, were you involved? No. We were just shooting photos and just like we ended up shooting photos going to Moomba randomly and then there was a punch on and then we recorded it and we got and Josh Gerard was staying in the way so I got time to go Moomba before I slice out the gym what do you mean? you disappoint me Kevin you continue disappointment hurts me Literally pissing right in. Oh, shit. Now just buy a white shirt. That analogy is hardly like relevant. So like, why, why would you put a drug in it? If they don't smoke it for the drug, do you know what I mean? You know what I mean, man. Why are you making this difficult, Eric? No, I like cities, they put it in because that's what makes it Why do we, okay, okay, okay. This is a good example. Why do you smoke, uh, why do you drink expensive alcohol? Is it train? That's like Derek D train though. No, yeah, because it's the same train. No, it's beer. Exactly. Yours is full of train. True? I think it's going to be full of train. True? This must be bad. Secret weapon, combat, Kevin. Kevin recording. Fuck, so detailed. <laughs> Alright, what's up, Barbell Crew? It's Kevin, and today I did wide grip bench pressing. And I haven't done wide grip in a long time because my shoulder has been injured for a, 
a very long period of time. You guys have seen me in competitions bench press a bit wider and it looks terrible. It looks like one side is lopsided and that's because I've injured my shoulder over and over and over again. And that's why I switched to a close grip bench press. And I learned a lot from my friend Phil, which you saw early on in the video, who is a massive bench presser in the 70 kilogram weight class. So he's under 74, but he, he lifts around 70 kilos because he was cutting at the time at his prime where he was benching 185 for touch and go, 180 for pause at 70 kilos, which is incredible. But I learned a lot of his setup and you guys have seen you'll, you'll see in this video how I set up uh, my bench press I'll go neck traps gaps and bring my feet down to the floor and emphasizing the arch so walking through this I get my feet on the bench in order to get my traps at the maximum angle that I can to touch the bench almost vertical if I could and flatten my neck against the bench and this helps emphasize the arch so much and you guys even though you may have a similar looking bench because if I set up in a different order the entire bench would feel completely different but walking through this workout I did 145 for 3x3 three three last session and it didn't look that great and today I moved over to 150 and they were moving very smoothly and I think it's just coming down to practice and finding my benching groove again because there's absolutely no pain which I'm really happy about and today I did three sets of two of 150 and I squeezed out a um, three rep set in between one of the two rep sets because I felt that it was really easy and I, I just get out another one just for the sake of it because that that extra rep doesn't hurt and I know that I will be better off for it. and that's how you guys should kind of go into your workouts if things are feeling too easy maybe you should push yourself a little bit more and adjust as you go along so back into the form aspect of things why I switched to close grip is one because I saw Phil doing a close grip bench press and two it felt more comfortable especially when I was doing my dumbbell pressing, I'd kind of tuck my shoulder, uh, my elbows in a little bit more and the dumbbells would be kept closer to my body and I was like, oh, this feels really comfortable and I, I wouldn't have any pain in my shoulder. So I tried that on the bench press and yeah, it kind of took away that, that pain and I was able to bench up to 170 kilograms using a closer grip bench press. And doing a wider grip bench press, I'm still kind of relearning how to do the movement so it, it isn't at its peak at the moment so I'm going to be easing my way into relearning and regaining my power with this type of form so you guys can see me setting up here bringing my feet down making sure that I am tightening my lower back and pressing my feet into all the way down into my neck so it keeps my entire body um, base structure very tight and even though some people set up and it kind of looks like this, it can feel completely different. You guys need to give this a go, especially if you are struggling with keeping tight with your bench. And it can lead to injury, especially if you aren't tight on the bench. And that's what I found. And how I kind of kept a little bit more tight was spreading the bar. So when I'm doing the eccentric moment, uh, movement of the bench, the the mindset that I have is spread the bar and it keeps your entire back tight. So I'll, I'll spread the bar as the bar comes down and my, my scaps will be extremely tight, my entire back will be tight. And why I got injured because I didn't do this in the past is because I'd throw my shoulders forward after trying to explode out of the bottom of the bench and the subsequent reps would really be stabilized only by my shoulders and that caused a lot of pain so yeah you like you guys can see in this clip here I'm doing these dumbbell presses with my elbows flared out and obviously I'm pausing as well so I'm really happy about that and hopefully some of the things that I said has some sort of impact on your workouts and maybe you can give it a go yourself so yeah cheers for watching that guys and I'll be doing a talk after this, I believe, live, and JP will be lifting as well. Peace.
Feeling a bit easier. Obviously, moving a lot better than my close grip. Let's let's just watch this for a second. Yeah, so then I moved on to accessories. 100 for a few paused. I think I'll keep it there. Don't usually do chest press. Since I uh, injured my shoulder, I haven't been able to completely flare out my elbows, especially when I do dumbbell press. So it's the first time back doing that. But if you guys have injured shoulders, it might help if you benched with the dumbbells kind of angled inward. Uh, without flaring your elbows out. Other than that, I think that might be it. Been here for a good two hours, so gotta grab a feed and that's it. Is that once in a lifetime? Yeah.